Good afternoon, everyone. You're looking at a live view of our Fusion 2 rocket awaiting its first launch of the year from Pad 01B at the National Space Center in Eurasia. I'm your host, Matthew White, and I'm a booster technician here at Fusion Space. Today, we're starting the year with a big launch. We are launching the first of a series of missions that will assemble a commercial space station in low Drew orbit. This is our first major step in the Drood exploration of the solar system and will provide the first continuous presence in space in history. We have five partners who are working on their own contributions to the project including station modules and crew or cargo transportation. The first flight to assemble the station, CSS-1, will carry the propulsion module into orbit. This is the module that will provide power, attitude control, maneuvering capabilities, and life support. We've spent a year designing our modules for the space station, including the development of a standardized docking adapter system that will be used by our partners. The module also utilizes Metalox for the engine systems to allow for refueling operations by spent fusion two upper stages. Today's launch features a brand new booster which will be attempting a recovery at LZ, one just south of the pad. But we do want to make it clear that we do not expect the booster to successfully make it back to the landing zone. Due to propellant margin constraints on the current vehicle design the booster can choose to abort into the ocean if necessary to minimize any risk to the public. These propellant margin constraints are the result of the propulsion module being so heavy, in fact, it's the heaviest payload ever flown to space at a staggering 36.9 tons. Future iterations of Fusion 2 will allow for more propellant margin which will allow return to launch site landings with payloads as heavy as 50 tons. Now for an update on the launch. Fusion 2 is scheduled to wrap up propellant loading at T-5 minutes and 30 seconds. The space station module has been fully loaded and is go for launch. The weather is perfect with no concerns that will hold the count. Fusion 2 propellant loading is complete. With the completion of propellant loading we'd like to look at 2024, this was our first full year of launching and we completed many ambitious missions. Please enjoy this short highlight video we've made. What an amazing sight, Fusion 2 has successfully landed at our landing zone in one piece. And there we have it, stage 1 has landed for a second time, and it looks like the booster may be tipping over. But that's okay.
What an exciting year we had. And we're only just beginning. We're currently just under three minutes till liftoff of Fusion 2. The strong back has retracted ahead of liftoff and all propellant lines are being purged. At 30 seconds we'll hear the flight director confirm that we'll go for launch and then that'll kick off the first of many launches this year. We're coming up on that final go from the flight director. We'll see you after liftoff. Flight director is go for launch. Twenty seconds. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lift off. Go Fusion 2. Go CSS 1. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Gillis chamber pressures nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, all systems are looking great and the vehicle is steadily going up. Next up is Max Q.
main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. ELS VAC ignition. Booster boost back startup. Fairing separation. And there we have all those events taking place successfully. You saw a gorgeous view of the fairing separating from the second stage and the booster is on its way home. Booster boost back shut down. Booster return to launch site is set to true. And that is completely unexpected news. The booster has chosen to return back to the landing zone. This is going to be an exciting landing attempt. But just before that we have the entry burn which will help slow the vehicle down and perform final trajectory adjustments. And just a little fun fact for you all, this booster is the first to have a new type of paint that will reduce the dry mass of the vehicle so, we may see some charring after the re-entry. Stage to performance nominal. Booster entry burn startup. Booster entry burn shut down. And with the conclusion of the entry burn, the first stage will begin to make its supersonic descent towards the landing zone. We're also expecting the second stage engine to shut down in 30 seconds ahead of payload deployment. Seco. Nominal orbital insertion. And now that the second stage is in orbit, we can divert full attention to the first stage. That landing burn should start up in just 40 seconds. Booster is transonic. Booster landing burn startup.
booster landing leg deploy. Landing burn shut down. CSS, one deployment confirmed. And what an amazing launch. We've recovered our third first stage. And we've deployed the propulsion module into space. We'll be ending our live coverage here for today, but we'd like to congratulate the Fusion Space teams on an incredible start to the year. And we'd like to thank everyone for joining us here today. We hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.